Crater is a class you can take here in Nimitz that is the closest thing to an actual college class that you can get. Dual credit is another class option here at Nimitz and it's through North Lake and it's another higher level course. So dual credit is a course that's offered by North Lake. It's basically closer to what an actual real college class is. Personally for me, no. I think it's one of the easiest classes I've ever taken. It's really fun as well. Dual credit, for me personally, is not hard. I really like the class. Um, no, it's not hard at all. I think the only challenges that you could run into is not managing your time correctly. What's expected of us as dual credit students is we have bi-weekly questions that we have to answer, and we also have ed puzzles every week, and then we also have a bi-weekly test. But when you pay attention to the material and you really learn it, they're really easy. Essentially, it depends on what type of dual credit class you're taking. So the one I'm taking, uh, pass on your test, do your notes, do your questions, and do your ed puzzles. Managing your time correctly and uh, making sure you turn in your work on, in on time like any other class. The difference between dual credit and AP is really just the experience. In AP, you have a test at the end of the year and course that determines whether you get the credit, but for dual credit, as long as you pass the courses on the semesters, then you get the credit. You don't have to take a test. Obviously, you don't got to take a test at the end of a dual credit class like you do in AP. And, I mean, the only other difference is that it's, an, it's a college class. So the main difference between both of them is that, personally, dual credit is much more closer to what an actual college class it will be like. Um, the courses are taught differently in different manners. Um, there's a lot of written portions of it and uh, for dual credit you don't really have to pass a test at the end to get your credit for college. You'll need to talk to your counselors about that and they'll get you with a packet and then you'll have to use it to sign up for your courses and you'll have to do some of the portions online. To take dual credit next year you need to sign up with your counselors when you go to make your schedule. You need to talk to your counselor and uh also, you need to take the TSI. The teacher. Um, also, other than the teacher, I like the fact that I can mostly do all the work on my own time as long as I get it done before some of the deadlines. I love my teacher the most because she makes it really interesting and she makes it to where the material is really easy to understand. I really love the teacher and the students, the environment there. It makes learning the topics a lot easier and a lot better. It's not a game, it's a red skin.
Good morning, Nimitz Nation. It's your anchor, Josie. Vikings, are you interested in trying out for the new mascot? The mandatory parent meeting will be virtual this year. The tryouts will be February 16th through the 19th. For more information, you can email Coach S at the link below or see her in her room in 224. Nimitz Nation, the North Texas Teen Book Festival is back. This year, it will be held this Saturday. Due to the pandemic, it will be held virtually. You can go to their website for more information or check in with the librarian, Ms. Johnson. Now to Eric with sports. Thanks, Josie. Eric here with sports. Today, the tennis team has a tournament at Duncanville. And also today, the boys' soccer team has an away game against Jesuit at 415. And lastly, the boys' and girls' basketball team both have games at 530 against Lake Highlands. The boys play away while the girls play at home. That's all sports news for today. Now to Felipe with our Black History Month segment. Thanks, Eric. Hey, what's up, Vikings? It's Felipe, and welcome back to our Black History Month segment. Today, we'll be going over Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was born on February 4, 1913, and sadly died on October 24, 2005. She was an American activist in the civil rights movement, best known for her role in the Mount Green bus boycott. The United States Congress has called her the first lady of civil rights and the mother of freedom movement. That's all for today, Vikings. Now back to you, Josie. Thanks, Felipe. Vikings, we will have a Black History Month dedication during the month of February, and we are in need of student volunteers. Please see Ms. Fields or Dr. Young if you are interested in participating. Nimitz Nation, students with good attendance, meaning completing attendance modules and coming to school with an in-person learner, will have a pizza party on March 10th. Vikings, your books are in limited supply. Only students that order in advance will be eligible to receive a yearbook. We still have a few books left if you're interested. Order yours today from Mr. Manelli or see a yearbook staff member for details on reserving your copy. You may also order online at the link below. That's all for today, Vikings. Have a wonderful day. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and invisible.